Hello everyone, this is Prodesilaos, also known as Prod. In this video I want to do a quick demo of a script I just wrote. It's called Git's iView. And what it does is it provides an overview of the Git status of multiple directories. So let me show you in practice. The name of the script is Gev, which I guess uh, stays true to the free software ethos of bad naming conventions. But um, I digress. Let's run Gev. It prints a list with the git controlled repositories and prepends to each file system path a status code, a number. And uh, what these numbers stand for is 0 for no changes, 1 for unstaged changes. This is for uh, changes to files that already exist and are controlled by git already. They are known to git. Uh, number 2 is for staged but not committed files and number three is for untracked files so let me show you in practice what this is very quickly um, let's let's check first the directory that has a status code of three so this is the dot files directory if we run git status we should expect to have uh, information about untracked files. Let's see if that is the case. Git status and indeed we have untracked files and the file in question is this very script that I am demoing, gev. So we have the correct uh, status code for this one. Let's check another directory that has uh, a number two status code. Let's go to protlab and if we run git status on this one we get changes to be committed and we already have a new file called new underscore file. These have been staged but have not been committed yet and as we see here in, uh, in the gev documentation number two indeed stands for staged but not committed and this is the case here. Very well, let's have a look at, a, at a, another repository that has a number one status code uh, prepended to its file system path. And let's run git status here. And indeed here we have changes not staged for commit. And we have a modified file that is already known to git, the readme file. And this uh, gave, uh, showed as a status code of number one for this specific directory. And uh, basically that's all there is to it, folks. Um, it's a very simple, a very quick and dirty, a very convenient way of uh, getting um, an overview of your Git controlled uh, directories. And what I like about this script is that it eliminates any kind of dependency on, um, on a plugin or an external script or some over-engineered solution. Uh, of course, this does not mean that it's, uh, it solves all the problems. It's just a very quick glance at all your Git controlled repositories, the status of each directory, and then you have to go in and uh, see the specifics. Um, furthermore, um, um, by the way, this is something that I might be iterating on, so this is not the final uh, version of this uh, script, but the way I have um, written it right now is that if there are multiple types of um, status changes uh, to controlled by Git, um, I, I guess only the first one will be shown, so the one with the unstaged changes. So if you have some unstaged changes, some staged ones, some untracked files, the status code sh should always be one because it sh it's the first thing that it uh, checks for. But this is something I might iterate on to improve it even though for my specific use case I don't really mind if I get a status code of 1, 2 or 3 what uh, I really care for is to, is to run the script and get a long list of all my git controlled uh, repositories and uh, know exactly where I need to go and uh, commit to the changes that uh, remain to be committed and uh, this script is a part of my dot files of course uh, my dot files are available at gitlab.com forward slash protesilos forward slash dot files and um, I will be publishing a book within the next month or so 
um, with instructions on how you too can reproduce my custom desktop session on Debian Buster, that is Debian 10, the forthcoming release of Debian. That's all for now, folks. Thank you very much for your attention.